Welcome back to Let's Play Nobody Saves the World. We're here in Moldtopia, a dungeon that is one level too high for me, but I think we can do it. Or I wouldn't be here. Shout out to Torek00, who says, So now nobody can feel even more like his old self by using consume with the mermaid form. Surely this morale boost will only aid nobody in his quest to keep a malignant superorganism from corrupting all biomass into its image. <laughs> I don't know where the idea that nobody is the flesh came from, but uh, I find it very, very funny. Uh, he's level B, let's do something else. I rocked his face. Die. Oh. There's a goat class that gets health from eating money. Hey, I got the next level of the kill quest. Ooh, Slug is really getting things done. King Hans. In fact. Oh, that brought me to full health. I was about to say, but I remember that I can use the egg. Alright, oh, kill baddies. Oh, I'm almost up to 15 as it is. Nice. Uh, slow baddies or slime slide. Hit enemies with blunt damage as the slug. That's why I had Stomp on. And Rad Radula. Do I have horsepower equipped to this one? No. Uh. Sorry about that. Shout out to F. Drake, who says that uh, the Radula is a tongue like feeding organ of slugs, snails, and other mollusks that is covered in tiny teeth. It scrapes and conveys food to the mouth. Also, Derek Floyd informed me of that. But uh, there was another one there from a more recent episode of, uh, well, it's not on right now, but shout out to Elthwar who says, uh, no, this one. Hell Shell. Finally, a Koopa Shell launch technique. Nobody accepts, expects the turtle to do a screen dash. And yes, there are venomous snails, most famously the cone snail, a sea snail that can bite and sting prey with a harpoon-like radula. It is apparently sharp enough on some of the larger ones to penetrate wetsuits and can kill a person. Though for most snails, it's only about as bad as a bee sting is to a non-allergic victim. Neat. Uh, back out of that. Hello. Evil. Oh wait, there's an exclamation point here. This is where the guy is. Hey, buddy. Glad to see you. I could really use your help. We found a special crystal that may have properties that can slow down the growth of Calamity Fungus. The hyphen makes that interesting, that Calamity Fungus is a term. But the crystal is stashed in this room full of monsters. I'm not very confident in my own abilities, but I've heard that you're a good fighter. You help us retrieve the crystal, capital T, by defeating all of the enemies? Yeah, okay. Remember, you must clear the monsters inside without breaking the crystal. It's right in the middle of the room. Okay, up here, up here. Everybody come towards me. No. Oh. What? 
just happened? That thing just one-shot me, and it shouldn't have been able to, because the egg's literal ability prevents it from losing more than one or third of its health at a time. It was, like, slightly damaged, but I was only switching into this to heal. Huh. Fuck. This dungeon, man. Did I get the horsepower quest already? No, I did. That's right. Melee mitigation on. Oh, what's the write up on that then? Nothing funny for that, just shield back. Alright, you fuckers. actually really help there. Especially since those guys can't actually attack you directly, they can only summon those fields under your feet. In fact, I'm at full health and mana. Huh. You know, I told myself after I opened the first one that if the second one had food in it, I'd just leave it there. that without breaking the crystal. I don't know how that fucking Fugu guy killed me the first time. I did not appreciate it. guy who shoots the homing projectiles, and they actually swarmed around the crystal before coming back together to close in on me. No. No, not a ranged class. Don't put those skulls there, for God's sake. Broke, you have magically traveled back in time to try again. Note that this does not canonically confirm the existence of time travel. <laughs> I'm not, I can't even be mad at that. Okay. Sorry, slug. This is more precise. Oh no! It did replace nobody. Well, in that case, uh... Okay, I put nobody back at the bottom. Oh god, this is messed up. Wait. Uh, I could, I could put the horse back at the top and the ranger on the side, but, uh... Hmm. How the 
fuck do I do this? I was afraid of using this to engage the uh, skulls because it's a wide attack. Maybe the horse to kick them away? But then the others would be... hit it. That's one. No! Oh! Well, the guy just went straight through it. Back in time again. This is frustrating. Up here, up here, up here. take that one for the team, or he would have been the crystal if I ran to the side. No! No! Magician! Oh, shit. Is that me or you? Oh, he used his spikes! I didn't think I would have hit him from that angle. Boy. Yeah, the first few rounds work for the, the, the guard pretty well. I can't move on doing that. Uh. No, not this! Uh. I don't know. I don't know how to take out these skulls fast enough. Man. Yeah, my timer. I know I can get this if I can get that skull round. Here. Wait, if I've traveled back in time, why are the bodies of all the previous monsters still here? Yes, yes, join your brothers on the ground. Collateral damage. In fact, I seem to have encouraged my entire game style to create it. Just 
it become easier if I beat the rest of the dungeon or something? Big crab, an even bigger crab than the other ones I saw with the crowns. And he does a lot of fucking damage. And I'm the slow guard. I'll drown you in tears. Suffer under the weight of my depression. Actually, that would be a pretty uh, lethal ability to dump your own mental issues on someone else. You're having a really shitty day? Well, now someone else is having a really shitty day and you feel fine. dollars in a chocolate bar. That's a very impressive treasure chest. <laughs> you know what would be a pretty good status effect? A status effect that makes uh, monsters vulnerable to friendly fire. Oh boy. or something. Can I fast travel just any time, or... No, I actually have to use one of those points. Oh, right. Stupid skull. Getting in the way of the crystal. It makes sense that the mermaid uh, would be still be faster than the slug. It's just one big foot, after all. Okay, in the hopes of accomplishing something. What was it that was near here? Yeah, let's check out what this is about. Or wait. Where was the, uh... Look here. Uh, the Worm Root Woods. Ah, all the way out there, which I have not been to yet because this is the other side of the map. Yeah, that's the other thing. There's a whole shitload of stuff over there that I could have been at already. And it's all leveling with me. But there is a quest up here for the Thieves Guild, so maybe I can do something. Oh, yes, the land of meat and eyeballs. Welcome back to the Meadow Trail. 
is a red miasma over everything that kind of makes it look like I'm injured all the time. Since uh, it does the glowy red in the corners when you're almost dead visual indicator. Twenty, turning around. Oh, those are those leech guys. Yes, I remember now. I did see those guys the last time I came here, and I'd never seen them before. I feel like I would have been very unimpressed if they drained all my life the second I walked up to them. Oh yes, and uh, Octavia's lab. Shit. Okay, this might not have been the best episode. I think it uh, ab amply demonstrates that I uh, might be a bit oafish to deal with the crystal quest, but I am determined not to give up. I feel bad. <laughs> there is no treasure in there. What does that say? Right, Calamity Stricken Lands. What's up, Eyeball Flower? Oh, it blinks too. I don't like that. Why is that? Why does, why does that make it worse? I mean, I love the tree over there that's just five eyeballs on a stalk, and they're all blinking in random order. But yes. I guess there is a fast travel point here, so I can get around to wherever I need to be next time. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Nobody Saves the World. When we, uh, get our shit together and, uh, well, figure out our next step. It'll be a new quest, it'll be a different dungeon. Who fucking knows? Have I been in there? I have. Okay, just checking. We'll figure something out, Burning Dog fans, and it's going to be a good time. But till then, have yourselves a great day. Later. <laughs>